This soup is absolutely delicious. It's like homemade and really yummy with real chunks of potato. It's super yummy. There's all these cute little booths and it's decorated really cute. And here's Ben. Turkey with mashed potatoes and gravy. Belgian waffles, strawberries and whipped cream. Perfect bacon. It's beautiful. Chicken tenders. Lots of butter with their syrup. Perfect. It even says it even says butter. Hello everyone. Uh, this is a quick review of a restaurant, and this is probably not one that most of you will ever go to. But if you live in Wisconsin, or you are traveling through Wisconsin, from west to east, or east to west, or maybe even north to south, I'm not sure, um, this is a hidden gem. I used to stop at this restaurant all the time when I was traveling from my home in western Wisconsin to my college, that I, my university that I went to, in eastern Wisconsin and when I went back and forth I used to stop here and eat a lot and that's a long time ago but I was we're on our way from our home to Green Bay Wisconsin tonight to stay in a hotel and then we're doing some other things tomorrow and it was supper time and there's not a lot on Highway 29 going west to east in Wisconsin other than Subway and McDonald's at basically every exit but I remembered this place and I told my kids we really should stop here because it was one of my favorites when I was going to college. So we stopped here at the Abbey Inn in Abbotsford, Wisconsin. It is on the main street through town, which used to be the old Highway 29. But they since built a four lane bypass highway where you can go 65 miles an hour. And it's about a mile and a half off of that now. But it was worth the trip. So, um, first of all, the service was very friendly. They did a very nice job. I tipped generously because she was very good. And it was quiet. It was, it's a Friday night. It's raining right now. Um, but it, and they're having a fish fry, but it wasn't very busy at all. It is about, it's almost seven o'clock right now. So that's pretty late for Wisconsin people to eat. But, um, I got the potato soup which was delicious. It was like real chunks of potato and just an extremely good flavor and perfect consistency. And then I got my all time favorite dish. I'm very old school, all American girl. I like, um, it's a hot turkey sandwich with mashed potatoes and gravy over the whole thing. And it was absolutely delicious. Megan tried a little bit of mine too, right Megan? Yeah. And um, she ha tried a little bit of all of ours. That's right. And, um, I ate basically all of it and am stuffed. Okay. And now I'm going to, um, turn it over to the kids so they can tell you what they had. So, hi, I'm Megan. I had, um, I got a Belgian waffle. I am a really big fan of Belgian waffles and pretty much any restaurant I can get them, I do. Um, it was... I got, so it was pretty big, it filled up the entire plate, it was really crispy, but also fluffy at the same time, like a pancake, um, and I got it with strawberries, the strawberries were fresh, and they were just delicious, the whole thing was amazing, um, the whipped cream was homemade, I could tell that, uh, it was all just so good, and I had a side of bacon, um, and the bacon, it was perfectly crisped, and it, just the right amount of juiciness. Like, really just imagine the most perfect bacon, and it was that. Okay, Ben? Uh, so, I had basically something simple, just chicken nugget, ch sorry, chicken tenders, um, and some french fries. The french fries were really good. They were, like, re the perfect amount of saltiness, and, like, like Megan, she literally like ate almost all I of them. I ate like half of them. Yeah, and um, they were just so good. Um, and then the chicken nuggets, they were also really good. They were like, they were really crisp, and um, like they they were hot, but that the hot it like they were only hot on the inside, so that made it taste better. Um, and basically, yeah, that's basically it. Okay. okay. Cracker sampling. The waitress gave us extra crackers that had come with my soup. I usually don't put crackers in my soup, 
and it was plenty hearty and thick, so I didn't need any crackers. But Megan's going to try these crackers because we've never seen this brand before. It's called House Recipe. It was on the ketchup bottle and the butter, too. Can I try one? Can you already try one? No. <laughs> they're really good. Um, they're flaky, but they kind of melt in your mouth. That's really cool. Are they buttery? Butter Ben? Yes, they are. <laughs> Butter Ben. <laughs> okay, thanks for that review of the crackers, Meg. <laughs> So guys, if you ever happen to be smack dab in the middle of Wisconsin, you should check out the Abbey Cafe. Did I call it the a Abbey Cafe at the beginning of the video? No, you said Abbey Inn both times. It, I said Abbey Inn both times, and it's not the Abbey Inn. It's the Abbey Cafe in Abbotsford, Wisconsin. Sorry about that. And we very That's much enjoyed our dinner here. And um, you guys should check it out if you ever happen to be in the area. Safe travels.